for fun tips and cool information, tune into HealingTalks.com. You're from where? I'm from Tennessee, Memphis. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And how do you find it there? From uh, where you well, I mean, a lot of people are, are pretty receptive to it. Um, um, because I don't, I don't, when I talk to people just out and about at stores and stuff, I don't call it a raw food diet. I just say I eat fruits and vegetables. And so I find when you approach it that way, people are, are much more receptive because everyone knows fruits and vegetables are healthy. But if you say raw food, it sounds a little yeah. new age weird. Right. So um, right. I'll just say I eat just fruits and vegetables and I'm really healthy. I and they'll see. say, oh, well, you look healthy, so it must uh-huh. be working. So. I so I find that works much better. And you never had a really serious uh, health crisis. No, my main thing was was anemia. I just I didn't I didn't feel good. Um, yeah. That that was that was the worst of it. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so now your diet is kind of where? Um, I eat low fat, high fruit, uh, lots of greens, and um, that's basically what I do. I find that if I get enough calories from fruit and also get in plenty of greens, that um, I have no cravings. It's and I really enjoy it. <laughs> and I guess the greens all reoxygenate your blood, so you don't have anemia, right? Yeah, it's um, <coughs> you know, I, I found that if I if I don't eat greens, I start to bruise easily, and I start to show signs of iron deficiency. Anemia. But I, as long as as long as I uh, as long as I get in my greens, because greens are more mineral rich than uh-huh. fruits are, that I get plenty of iron and. Uh, I don't have those symptoms at all. I get blood work done every year. My iron is fine. I see. And uh, I'm only taking in 15 to 20 milligrams of iron a day. Uh-huh. And for vegans, the recommendation is 30. I see. So but somehow it's working for you. It works for me. Definitely. Now, why do you recommend the pound? Uh, what's that based? <laughs> it's just based on um, the amount of minerals we need, based on recommendations. I tend to rely more on World Health Organization versus, say. Um, the RDI or RDA recommendations, um, but yeah, the the amount of um, it's mainly iron, and calcium, and zinc. Um, those are really the biggies uh, that we need, and selenium as well. What about magnesium? Magnesium is actually uh, even with fruit, you can get you can get a lot of magnesium with fruit. But greens uh-huh. greens are important too, definitely. You'll get in a lot of magnesium from greens, and um, but those are really really the biggies. Uh, sodium as well, and uh, you know if you don't you don't eat enough greens, I found that uh, I just get crazy cravings. I mean, I really want savory um, foods that will provide those minerals. As long as I eat enough uh-huh. greens, I have no cravings whatsoever, uh-huh. and I feel better. I see. So it's calcium. Uh, calcium, iron, especially iron. for women. Men, uh-huh. you can you can get you can really get most of the iron you need from fruit, and plus you'll need more calories. But um, calcium, iron, especially for women. Um, zinc. Uh, selenium, which uh, a great source for, for selenium is grill nut, for grill nuts. They're like the best source. <laughs> uh-huh. And um, and sodium. Those are probably the biggies. And what do each of those do? Obviously, calcium, gold, bones, and teeth. Right? Silicon is more for the skin. Right? Mm-hmm. Iron is a blood builder. Uh-huh. So what do that mean? Uh, selenium? Uh, like iron, selenium? Uh, selenium, and oxidant. And. Uh, well, they're all important. They're all, important. <laughs> they're all very important. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>